to, to make that decision to leave Chelsea, obviously your childhood club, what made you come to that decision to leave? I feel like, you know, Chelsea, I was, I was, I was born and bred at Chelsea, you know, since the age of six. Oh my, Tammy, why did you do that? I called you, you was on set, you didn't pick up. No, 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 you can't be doing that. What do you mean? What do you mean I was on set? I, I called you and then I said, yes, let's see if you don't pick up. And what do you do? You don't pick up. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I've seen what you went to go and do. You went to go and freshen up your blondie and your blonde, your stripes and that, and your hoodie. I like it. I like it. Anyway, how you doing? I'm good, brother. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you. Not too bad. So how's the, how's the season going in, in, in Italy? It's good. It's good. Apart from yesterday's result, we lost. But apart from that, you know, everything's good. I'm enjoying it. It's different, but it's good, man. Um, you're talking about yesterday's loss. Um, I checked the scores, and I saw that it was yeah disappointing. Disappointment. You lost, but I saw the score line, and I saw Tammy Abraham go. I haven't quite seen the goal, so could you talk us through the goal? How was the goal? You know, yesterday. Is Team, so you know, I had to kind of sniff out, you know. Mm. Uh, um, we had a corner, got cleared out. Pellegrini had a shot, and luckily I was just in the right place to, you know, to just flick it to the goal. Yeah, I like that. No, that's sick. That's yeah. sick. And when it comes to like scoring, you've got a, a knack of scoring goals, yeah. What would you say to like strikers in terms of like strikers that want to get goals? The hardest thing to do in football. As everyone knows, is to score goals. Mm -hmm. It's a theme of football. So, to be a striker, you've got to be ready for disappointment. Yeah. You've got to be, you know, games where you're not going to really have chances, but you have to try to sniff out a chance. And when that chance comes, you have to try and be at the right place at the right time, stay focused, stay concentrated. And yeah, man, that's, that's the perks of being a striker, man. Just... Nice, nice. And then, in terms of like, obviously, you being at Chelsea at the time. Scoring goals, yeah. score. I think you got top goal scorer for Chelsea. Was it last season? Mm -hmm. To to make that decision to leave Chelsea, obviously your childhood club. What made you come to that decision to leave? I feel like, you know, Chelsea. I was I was, I was born and bred at Chelsea. You know, since the age of six. Um, you know, I broke into the first team. I went on loan for that. Broke into the first team when I come back. And I kind of had the exposure of, you know, first-team football at top club, uh, you know, doing it in the Premier League, yeah. you know. It was everybody's dream from a kid. Um, but we got to the point where, you know, I wanted to play games. 100%. Uh, I wanted to, especially having the World Cup come well, you know. It wasn't good for me just sitting around and, you know, not playing as much as I would like, so... You know, this opportunity came and, you know, took it with two hands and I said, yeah, I can't go. Nice. So, obviously, you being at Roma, playing under Mourinho, what was it like? Because you was, you was at Chelsea when he was at Chelsea, right? Yeah, I was. I was, I was a baby, though. It's but, a baby um, No, to, to, to have the chance to work with Mourinho, you know, it's, it's, it's a dream. You know, I, I look at him as, you know, my dad of Italy. You know, nice. He, he looks after me and, you know, I just... As long as I'm performing, you know, he's always he's always telling me what I need to improve, and you know, when I've done things wrong, he's he's never afraid to tell me that as well. And yeah, man, just his experience and his knowledge of football is, is crazy. So, you know, at the end of my career, at least I can say I've, I've worked with a manager like. Nice. So when you said you said earlier in this conversation already that it's a lot different to being in England. What's the difference on the pitch first before we get onto off the pitch? <laughs> There's a lot of running. Yeah, I would, I would think, I would think, um, the Premier League's got like more running. You have to run more. It depends what kind of game. I mm -hmm. think a team like Chelsea, you had, you had the ball most of the games. Um, but here it's, it's, it's hard because they're so keen on defending. Nice. You know, every stop goals and stop you from scoring. So. It's also, you know, even watching just... 100%, it, it, yeah. It's just it's so hard to score against them. So it's just lack of chances. But, you know, luckily for me, I'm scoring. Um, I think that would be the difference. Just it's more tactical. Nice. And then in terms of, like, off the pitch, what's the difference in lifestyle? Like, obviously, being from London, South London bred, 
from Bourne, what would you say is different now, like living in Rome and, and being the, in Italy? Well, you know, the weather is good. <laughs> um, now, man, the, the weather is good. You know, even today it was sunny. Um, the lifestyle is different. The fans are passionate. Man. Mental, yeah. Oh, passionate. Why would, you, why, would, why would you say they're passionate? What, what's the difference in fans? Like, you'll see fans on the street, you can't go anywhere or what? Just even when I when I arrived here. Okay. Just fans just like at the airport. It wasn't even announced. It just somehow got leaked. One yeah. fan found out, told other oh, fans. Okay. Fans, you know, passionate. Even when I came there, I didn't understand them back then, but they were just, you know, just banging their banging chest. Banging their chest, yeah. Even coming out on the game, like, bro, you need to come watch your game. Yeah, I do. Come, you know, the fans are going crazy, like, every game, every game. No way. Yeah, man. Do you, do, you do, do you know how to speak um, Italian? A little bit now. A little bit now. Let's go. Let's go. I need to hear something today. Can't hear you. you bad, yeah. Bad, bad. <laughs> give me, give me one sentence. Um. Ciao, come stai? Tutto bene tu? Ah. Uh, che cosa detto? Ah, ah, ah. Just, just nice, move. nice, nice. And then in terms of like playing for England, how's that for you? Obviously, you come into play in Italy. Do you look at it differently now because you're playing in Italy and obviously you still want to be playing at the biggest tournaments? You know, when I think when I was younger, not that young, but a couple of years back, I used mm -hmm. to think, you know, if I was to ever play abroad, you know, how would, would that affect like me playing for England and whatever, whatever. But, you know, nothing's really changed. You know, it's just... As long as you're doing your thing and people are hearing about you, you're, you're doing well, mm -hmm. you know, you're always getting but, uh, you know, thankfully, you know, England have a manager who's who's not just too focused on the Premier League, he's focused on players doing well around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's nice when you're comfortable, you know, you're playing the way you grew up and, you know, you know the surroundings, but to, to go and do it elsewhere, it's, it's a different challenge. A hundred percent. And and in terms of like the boys in in, in Roma, what are they like with you? Like were they welcoming and you get on get on with a lot of the boys? From from day one they were, you know. It was it's a bit weird because, you know, I was so used to Chelsea and um, you know, I came here and I was so used to being the, the Chelsea Academy player. Yeah. And I came here and they were they were looking at me like one big star, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was weird. I was like even when the coach spoke to me, he was like, hey, they're looking at you. They're looking up to you. I used to look up to, you know, the Williams, the yeah. Hazard. Nice. Blah, blah. And to know that people are looking up to you here, they're dependent on you. Oh, it's, just, it's a nice feeling, man. Knowing that you're, you're what do you call it? How do you even put it to work? Big dog, you're big dog, big dog. Yeah, you're an idol too. Oh, them, what? Man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're a big dog, I forgot. So, so nice. fashion, Tammy, I've been seeing bare stuff on Instagram. Instagram, Tammy's got a video. Even your last 2021, 20, um, 2021 video, you're doing show reel of your goals. It's even looking drippy. But now, I need to talk about your drip because we've had a lot of people on the show and um, they talk about their fashion sense and, and what they're into. I need to know what you're into. What do you, what, what, what brands do you like to wear? What do you like to, to look like when you're out? You know what, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, I'm going to give you guys the intel first. Okay, cool, yeah, we're listening. Um, I haven't been too active on social media like that, I've just mm -hmm. been, you know, trying to focus on the move and the football and everything. 100%, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to start focusing on, on the drip from... Oh my days, so that's an exclusive. Tammy's yeah. basically saying mm. you're focusing on football, of course, that's first, but... The drip, everyone better be ready. You're even Wait. saying that on, on when I'm gonna gonna release DS4. So Wait. time is gonna do I, I, DS5. The album, the album oh, the album's even making you. So give me yeah. give me give me some um, inspiration behind your looks. What do you what do you look at before you go and buy some clothes and that? Depends where I'm going, but I like to, you know, I like a bit of colour, I like a bit of... Yeah, I can see the, the blonde, we can see the blonde, of course, we like colour. 
Decent. And then another question I have: When it comes to music, mm-hmm. what do you like to listen to? Obviously, we just spoke about hip hop, gonna. Um, bro, I listen to everything, man. I listen to DBE, listen to mm. different types of music, American, UK, different types of music. Big, big man, you, you didn't you didn't mention Afrobeats? You're moving, you're moving a bit. You're moving, moving oh, a bit, mad. Oh. This yeah, one. yeah, no, no, but tell me you're saying that I like uh, DBA, I like um, UK, I hip hop. You didn't say anything about Afrobeats. Afrobeats, probably right now in the world, is, is number one. It's give number me, one. give me, give me, okay, cool. We're in the change room, yeah? Mm-hmm. And we've got um, a game, yeah? Mm-hmm. I want you to give me, I want you to give me five songs, yeah, to play in the change room before we're going out to play a match. Right now, my first song I'll probably put on. Is Armeno. Do you know it? Uh, oh, you want to bum bum? You want to, yeah, okay. Yeah, big one, big one. Yeah. Hustle by Tenny. I don't think I've heard that one. I didn't hear it until the other day. I liked it. <laughs> big tune. Then, go to the new Ghana album. Yes. Missing Me. Big, big tune, big tune. Then, I think it's called Dialogue with Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. Then mix it up, DVE, I'm gonna go. Where's my phone? In fact, I'm gonna go right now. <laughs> Um, Drake, Lil Baby, Naira. Naira. Mm-hmm. Naira. Um, I think his new song is Disturbing America. Yeah, big tune. Disturbing America is good. Um, I don't know the last one. The last one will just be on shuffle. Oh. Future March Madness, I'll give you that one. That's, that's old, man. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, but we'll use that. But listen, Tammy, I want to give you a massive thank you for coming on the call. All the best for the season. And listen, I'm taking you up with that. Um, I'm coming to a game. So when I text you, don't, don't, or call you, like what you've done in this one, you, you didn't pick up the call. Make sure you pick up, yeah? Awesome. All right, love. Thank you, bro. No problem. There you have it. Tammy Abraham, he's left Chelsea. I've signed. Me and the car club from. Bow.